want to do a short video of my 1976 Mercury Monarch Gia two-door that I purchased back in June of 2018, a little over two years ago. Delivered on June the 3rd, 2018. <clears throat> when it was delivered, this car had 8,427 original documented miles. It's in incredible condition. It's really a survivor or what they call a time capsule in every way. It's totally original, unrestored, and in excellent condition. I thought I'd show up some of the features. Chrome stays all original and just near perfect. Always been a Ford Mercury guy and saw this online the latter part of May two years ago and I just had to have her. She's got the factory style steel wheels, magnums with trim rings. And they are just like new. The nuts are a little bit tarnished. Thinking about changing them out someday, but the details are just Sorry about the shadow, this is the sun out here. The detail, details of this car really indicates that it has definitely been taken care of and preserved. It's had several owners and been to several states because I've got copies of titles, previous owners that came with my paperwork. The car's like new almost. It's got some dual sport mirrors. Got the 302 two barrel carbureted Ford engine in it. Currently I've got 13,400 and something miles, so I've driven at 5,000 in the two years and two months that I've owned it. And uh, it's nicely equipped, power steering, power brakes, air conditioning. Uh, the air had been converted to 134 Freon at one time, which I'm glad of. Like I say, it's a Gia. You can see by the emblem there in the opera window. One of the things that really amazed me a lot about this car when I got it is the condition of this vinyl top. Because they, they just don't last that long. And this one is just spectacular condition, as well as all the chrome and everything. This is quite a fine. Got the original single exhaust still under there. Got antique plates on it. <clears throat> it's got to be it's got to be the lowest mileage example of this uh, 76 Monarch around. The interior. <coughs> Just like new in here. Even someone said it one time it even smells new. Carpeting is excellent. It's as uh, as you would would expect in a thirteen thousand mile car that's really been taken care of. Got automatic on the floor, three speed automatic. There's four warning lights over there. Get in here and show you the odometer. Thirteen five oh eight. I'd say actual miles. AM FM radio, the original one. And looks like got air conditioning and it really blows cold. Digital clock, that, that clock has been a mystery. It doesn't work, which is not unusual. But I did see it running two occasions, just briefly, and then stopped and I can't get it to come back to life, but I can do without that. There's no power locks, mirrors, windows, cruise control or rear dehicer. Uh, 
Supposed to have power brakes, power steering, got warning lights, only one gauge, and that's the fuel gauge. Pop the hood and let you look at that 302. Not really detailed out. I've cleaned it some. But I like the originality of the looks of it. A lot of people do. Had it in a car show a year ago this past March here locally, and uh, I was standing in front of it. And the lady came up to me and said, I just love this because it's all original. So it really made me feel good. Still got the air pump system all intact there. These are the original radiator hoses, upper and lower. No doubt, because you can tell by the factory clamps. They have changed out the heater hose and the bypass hose here, and a few of the belts. Like a Napa belt there. And I have replaced a few items under here. The master cylinder I've replaced. The pedal got a little bit low. I got kind of concerned, so we put a brand new cylinder on there. Put another ignition module on and a coil just to kind of routine maintenance and uh, she doesn't get a lot of mileage about probably 16 on the highway that's about what these got I'm gonna get back here in the trunk literature here and then uh, this was interesting I'll show the trunk here as clean as can be uh, this tire if it's not the original it, it must be a brand new replacement ER 7814 is the original size they even still got some of the blue on the white wall yeah, I don't know if they were blue uh, white wall when it was factory new or not, but the way it looks, it's, it's never been out. So that could very well be the fact, factory original car. Show you a quick little literature. My wife got this book made for me online somewhere for Christmas. There's a picture of it and, and it's got all the photos. It was on the website advertisement. They had these all on their ad, plus there was a video of it. They had, caught, they had pictures underneath the car. And tires, wheels. Very, very clean underneath there. It's been rust proofed. Looks like a factory single exhaust. Has a big muffler on the back and then the resonator in the, about the middle of the car. I like that part of it. I'm glad it's still original under there. Here's the original owner's manual that came in it. It's always good to have those. A bit of sales brochures. One arc. Bobcat and Tommy. That's the Grand Mark Monarch gear. That was the top of the line, the four door to come out. And that's the gear. And there was a standard version, just plain Monarch. Always good to have literature as another one than just the monarch.
really rides good and it's so easy to drive the steering is so smooth and easy this is a uh, some of the literature this that came with it 7600 original miles when this was printed museum quality this is a few years ago and Hemings Motor News had a feature article about it here pretty neat to see that in the uh, Hemings Marty Report it's uh, a lot of collectors like to get those, this tells how many of these were built with the different options. Only 410 with these paint and trim, co trim codes and 962 with the styled steel wheels and trim rings. Plus the two doors I'm sure were less uh, popular than four doors, no doubt. There was an appraisal done back a few years ago. And a few invoices. Just quickly, there's some of the copies of the titles, previous owners, a couple of them were dealers, I think. That's been around, just looking for a good home, and I finally brought it to my home. I'm glad I did. Here's the uh, build sheets that are not commonly found in vehicles. I don't understand a lot of those, but it looks like a lot of duplicates, but you don't find them in these cars. But I did get a lot of paperwork on it. So we'll sign off. Just wanted to show you a little bit about my 76 Monarch Gia. 13,000 original miles. I think I'll keep it a while.